The New York Jets will look to bounce back in week two after a very rough week one where they lost to the Baltimore Ravens 24 to 9. This week, Gang Green travels to the land to battle the Cleveland Browns. New York Post Jets beat writer Brian Costello, he'll be at the game. He joins me now. Brian, how's it going after watching the Jets offense in week one? <laughs> I've had a better week than the Jets offense, Dexter. I'll put it that way. That's, well, that's good. That's, that's what we want to hear, that you had a better week than the Jets offense. But let's start with the defense, Brian. The Jets defense, they held their own in week one. Now, stopping the run should be a test in week two for them. So how does New York stop the Browns running back duo of Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt? Yeah, good question. I think the Jets are wondering that themselves, Dexter. Obviously, they did a good job against the Ravens. Uh, the, the rushing attack of the Ravens didn't do much. Lamar Jackson didn't really run for much. He threw a few touchdowns, but didn't, didn't run over them. But the Browns are a different challenge with Kareem Hunt uh, back there, Nick Chubb. They ran for 217 yards last week against the Panthers. Just comes down to, I think the Jets will stack the box. I think they're, they're going to dare Jacoby Brissett to beat them and just load up to try to stop this rushing attack. They got to set the edge. They can't make mistakes. And they can't let these guys get to the second or third level. You know, it's going to be on the front seven to stop these guys and, and, and try to keep this you know, rushing attack under wraps. Now, Brian, even the most optimistic Jet fans, I know you met some of them, and proud Jets fans, they would have to say the offense was tough to watch last week. So <laughs> I'm personally not still over the fact that fans were actually chanting for Mike White last week. So how much pressure is there on quarterback Joe Flacco this week? And could we possibly see a Mike White appearance if Gang Green's offense sputters once again? Yeah, I think there's a lot of pressure on him, Dexter. Uh, he did not have a good week one. It wasn't all on him. The offensive line didn't play well. Receivers didn't get open. There was drops. There was fumbles. But he didn't play well in that game, and they only scored nine points. So they, there's, there's pressure on him to, to get this thing moving. I think Jets fans are keeping receipts, Dexter, right now on how Joe Flacco plays. So I do think you could see Mike White. I think it's more, more likely this week if, if the offense looks terrible in the first half and can't move the ball and Flacco is struggling, I think Robert Sala has to consider it at halftime for no other reason just to give the team a spark and see if he can change momentum. Uh, so I do think Flacco is under the gun this week. And he's got to produce. I do not think many of us thought that we'd be talking about Mike White in week one or week two, but here we are. All right, Brian. Next week, Cincinnati, Dexter. You know what happens against Cincinnati with Mike White. So. Yeah. yeah. Well, yes. And maybe that's some optimism for the Jets fans there, but <laughs> uh, I'm not going to. Can let's lightning not go that strike far. twice? Can, I don't know. Can lightning strike twice? We, we will see. We're, we're just trying to get through week two, but we will see. All right, Brian, it's time to hand you the keys. What are the keys to the Jets pulling off the road upset in week two and getting their first victory of the season? Yeah, I think it's it's pretty easy, Dexter. I don't think you have to be Vince Lombardi to figure this out. You know, like we talked about, they got to stop the rushing attack of the Browns. You know, force Jacoby Brissett to beat you. That's really going to be the game plan is just load it up the box, make Jacoby Brissett make plays. And on offense, they've got to stop Miles Garrett. And he cannot blow up this game. And Jadavian Clowney do a lesser degree. But the pass rush can't be in Joe Flacco's lap all day. They're going to have to give him time. They're going to have to use the running game. Michael Carter, Brees Hall, I think those are their key players in this game. To run the ball control the clock, keep the deep, keep the pass rush a little off, off center. So they're not just rushing, you know, ears pinned back all day. Can the Jets get a lead, Dexter? What, you know, they, it feels so rare when the Jets actually have a lead in games the last few years. I think that changes things. Then you're in control a little bit more. The pass rush won't be as, as fearsome if the Jets can take a lead and control the ball with the running game. I think that's the key to this whole thing. Well, Brian, I'll tell you what. There might be some Jets fans on Twitter. They might tell you that you missed one of the keys to the game. They might say that is putting Mike White under center. That's probably one of their keys when, to the game. You know it, when, when is Chris Strebler, when are the calls for Chris Strebler, Dexter? They're uh, coming next. That, you know, Mike you know White what? That seems like... Play poorly. <laughs> And then, oh, Chris Strebler, it's time for Chris Strebler. We'll hear that next. <laughs> that seems like the logical progressions of things that could happen here with the New York Jets. Brian, enjoy Cleveland week two. We'll talk soon. Thanks, Dexter.